بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم رب زدني علما okay the next thing we'll try to understand about the wireless lan uh, standards now as per the ieee ieee has introduced something called 8.11 which is like a dedicated standard for wireless implementations now this ieee um, introduced this standard around in june 1997 that is specifically for wireless based ethernet networks and later on as per the requirements you can see there are different multiple standards has been introduced now we'll try to understand probably about this standard details but again uh, one thing we need to understand the common part about this is the actual implementation is is similar in all the standards now the main difference will be the speeds they operate like you can say the throughput like some standard supports 54 mbps throughput or some standard support even more than that like 300 or 6 600 mbps or even if you go further you will find uh, up to 1 gig or more than 1 gig as well now that is one thing and of course the frequency range they operate so most of the wireless standards they operate in the, in this frequency range 2.5 gigahertz and 5 2.4 and 5 gigahertz range these are the two most commonly used frequency ranges in general so as i said when you when you come up with the implementation part all the wireless standards they have the similar or the same implementation now again all these wireless networks can be implemented either in the ad hoc mode you can you can still connect devices without an access point or most of the time 99% of the time we always go with an infrastructure mode where we'll be using an access point and connecting those things and again the security protocols this support that will vary again now coming with this one so one of the first standards was introduced like 80.11 that is around 1997 and then later on in 1999 they introduced a and b uh, which was the natron standard i'll i'll just come up with the individual standard a little bit more in detail in the in the next sections now as i said what they differ they differ the speed the transmission rate the frequency they use so either 5 gigahertz range or the 2.4 uh, gigahertz wireless range and again if you talk about this 80.11i that is again add some additional security enhancements and if you go with other standards you you will see a lot, lot of things you know they basically some of the additional security enhancements have been added and then there is something called multiple input multiple output uh, added to to improve the improve the throughput and other options now again here you can see the uh, options the evolution of the wifi as it started with uh, 80.11 standard around in 1997 but the first popular wireless standard came into existence in 18 uh, 1999 with 80.11b one of the most uh, popular standard which supports so typically this 80.11a and g probably which was introduced in 1999 they are typically referred as third generation and then depending upon the enhancements now if i'm going with 80.11 and this is kind of fourth generation and then you will see something like fifth generation and then we have something like sixth generation uh, wifi standards so you'll find them as a generation and technically there will be different names they use like wifi 5 wifi 6 something like that those are the naming conventions you will also see and in terms of the differences the year they were adopted and of course the frequency they operate and the main difference will be like the throughput so if we just try to see the difference as the standard goes the throughput has been increased and of course the distance it can cover up it totally depends upon the type of the access point implementation and the antennas they use so that again varies so this is kind of average uh, distance it actually supports here 